Uh, Bortle here back from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Extravaganza, the main event this past weekend, guys, post Dawn of Majesty. We have here second place. Please introduce yourself to the world, and what deck did you use, man? Okay, my name is Gio, and I play Heroes top second second place without Bane. Oh, without Bane, my goodness. So what made you decide to use this deck post Banless, post Dawn of Majesty? Hero decks are just kind of my favorite, and in this format, there are a lot of decks that automatically lose against Dark Law. So uh, I thought to play a sec uh, second goal deck with heroes. So if I go first, I just summon Dark Law and win the game. Or if I go second, I just absolutely destroy my opponent with OTK. You did mention you did get second. So what deck beat you in uh, in this event? The only deck that beat me was Tri Brigade in the last round. And I lost to Dyro. And first game, he won. And then second game, I drew all the bricks. And he just won the game with an Epic Veiler. So that was quite unfortunate, but quite happy that I got second place. And before we start the actual deck profile, do you have any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to all my buddies here in Puerto Rico, to my team, the Extenders, to helping me out so much with this deck. Well, without further ado, please take it away with the rest of your deck profile. So what we're going to start with is all the Elementor Heroes. And this is pretty basic for consistency. We're going to play three Elemental Hero Stratus. This card has two effects. One that's normal or special summon and can add any hero monster, including himself. And the other effect that most people forget about, he has this other effect that he can destroy spell and trap cards up to the other number of heroes you control. And that it does not target its cost. Standard two Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. When it's special summon, I can get add a mask change and summon Dark Lock when per game. Or if it's sent to the graveyard, I can add basically another hero. And then the one of is one of Elementor Hero Liquid Soldier. This card is nuts. The effect of drawing two and discarding one comes so handy, in, especially in grind game. One Elementor Hero Solid Soldier. Didn't quite use it as much. I think the best combo was a normal summon Solid Soldier and special summon Shadow Mist. And then the last one is Honest Neos. Basically... Honest for 2500 After that, I got all the Destiny Hero. So I'm playing one of Destiny Hero Dying Attack, one Destiny Hero with Decider. I got to play a level 4 so I can burn my opponent for something with Dystopia. Sadly, two Destiny Hero Malicious for now, and one Destiny Hero Plasma. And this card just came in handy when I started to go into a grind game with a lot of opponents against Tri Brigade or something. I summoned this in Grind Game, and they couldn't do nothing. If they didn't draw the Forbidden Droplets, or if I ended up with this in Dark Law, then they couldn't use Forbidden Droplets. The only thing was in Permanence, and what you're going to hit, either Plasma or Dark Law. That's such a hard choice. <laughs> exactly, it's a hard choice. For the heart of the deck, the Vision Hero. I played the Ratio... Three Ferris and one Increase. Basically, this, I don't want to see this, so I just want to cut it as much as possible. I play a 44 card deck, and I only play one of these. It's really unlikely that I see it, but when I see it, it's not very fun. And then Ferris to do the whole combo, and the big monster of the, of the deck, Vision Hero Bio. So basically, when it's normal or, or special, I can... Dump a hero, a uh, hero monster from my deck to my graveyard, and the most important part, this card is the one that adds you the super poly by banishing one. And once you get super, uh, once you get poly, then you're gonna get combo. You're gonna get access to your elemental hero sunrise. You're gonna get access to everything. I got all the power, the fusion spells, so I'm playing the three fusion destiny boss monster card. If if I had to go to game, this card won me. If I had to do an OTK without five summons, this card was the, the best. Because I just summoned Dystopia, burn for 1600. And then the rest was so easy. Like, you can get so much damage without Dystopia. But it's, after that, I play the one of one Poly for the combo, one Miracle Fusion for the combo, then the three power spells, the three mask change. And that is for all the fusion spells. This right here 
special summon. I have two targets right now. Either you go the boar wipe and summon acid and destroy all spells, and if you have the absolute zero, you do all the boar wipe. Or if you have a dark and you want to go to an OTK, I have either two things. I have the dark lock, which is the boss monster, or an Anki, which helped me a lot through this through this tournament to deal OTK. Sometimes my opponent left with a monster and it's just summon Anki, destroy the monster, search another mask change, activate mask change because it's not once per turn, summon the dark loss, attack with everything else, and that would be game. One reinforcement. One call by the grave, one hero lives, and one e call. And I play this ratio. I don't play at this moment. I play one reinforcement and one e call because I wanted to cut it up at 42, but couldn't. I want to play as many hat trips as possible to disrupt my opponent. Hero lives, which is the great card, and call by the grave, so I can have protection in my turn. I play five hand traps, which are two infinite and permanents and three Ash Blossom. And the reason that I'm playing only five hand traps is because in a moment, I I told you that I like to go second with this deck. And I think that the best way for heroes to play in this format is to go with a bunch of points second cards. That's why I have the two Lightning Storms when I'm playing against back row decks, then Lightning Storm helps me. And there's a lot of combo decks that they don't end up with negations. Like, for example, if you play against Tribigate, all their monsters are Link monsters. So they're going to leave all the monsters in attack. So a Lightning Storm hurts them pretty bad. The three Forbidden Droplet, this car is amazing on heroes. It's basically a plus. You don't go negative with this card because you just send Shadow Mist or Malicious. Other best card in this card and the tournament, it was Super Poly. And since there's a lot of elements for heroes, each with different attribute, light, there's one with water, you can use it, and I play on uh, two generic fusion monsters, so it helps a lot to break boards. And it won me against, I think it was on fifth round, I play against an ABC, I had Liquid solely on the field, and the play was he had a set card, and the ABC monster and Mascarina, and I... I remember I normal summon Liquid Soldier. He used Forbidden Droplet, sending the human hanger that was on the field. Then he, I, since I couldn't change with Super Poly because of Forbidden Droplet, he, after that he did the ABC monster effect to discard one card and target my Liquid Soldier to banish it. Then I could respond with Super Poly, and he ended up negating the, the boss monster, the Shiny. Because I, I use his material in my Liquid Soldier. So Liquid Soldier resolved. I destroyed his board. He had an, any cards in hand. And that basically won me the game. For the extra deck, I'm going to start with the links. The link to this comes really handy when you're go, when you, you're going to go into grind game. If you want to set your mask change. If you want to set your super poly once again. Miracle Fusion, this card is the one to go through. Because this has the effect when a hero is normal or special summoned to a stone this card points to. You can target one poly spell, one fusion spell, or one sh mass change spell in your graveyard and set it to your field. So yes, this indeed can set super poly. Because since it has the, it has the word poly in the, in the name. And once you do that, like your opponent knowing that you have super poly to the next turn is really frustrating because there is no way to really play around that. Cross Crusader, I play Cross Crusader at two because it comes really handy when I have the first time I summon to tribute something at another hero monster so I, keep, I can keep doing combo. The second time is to revive the dystopia and burn for damage and win for game. One of the Dread Decimator, this card is nuts. Gain 100 attack and each monster hero that this card points to for each different hero you have in grave. And it's really, and it does piercing damage. So sometimes they forget about that. They put a monster with zero defense on on the field and then you just attack with this and it's basically nothing. Uh, the boss monster right here is Vision Hero Trinity. 
If I cannot go into full combo and I see that you don't have any sort of interruption, like you cannot bounce nothing, I can just summon this, and if I have Honest Neos, this card can win basically the whole game. So a lot of people still don't know when this card is Fusion Summon, he has an effect that it doesn't activate. Automatically, when this card is Fusion Summon, his attack goes up to 5,000 damage. And then if I have Honest Neos on, on my hand, I can discard it and bump and boost him up to 7,500. And he can attack up to three times on monsters on the field. Then I have here all the boss monsters. So I have here the two Dark Laws, the Mask Hero, Anki. And which I was telling you about earlier, I played one Anki because sometimes it comes up. If my opponent has a uh, OP board, I cannot get over it, but he has so, he doesn't have as many life points. He has an effect which I can basically attack directly with this card, but it does have the damage. So he has at 28. If my opponent has less than 1400, I can just summon this and attack for game. And Dark Law, then Dark Law is Macrocosmos for only my opponent. Then the other ones I play is the Mask Hero Acid. This is standard for Harpy Feathers Duster. And then we play the Elemental Heroes is one Absolute Zero, one Sunrise, and then one The Shiny. There's a lot of decks that end up with a Light Monster and is a great target for Super Poly. So this is what I'm telling you, like you have a Light and Hero Monster. This I think is a one Light and one Elemental Hero Monster. I play the Destiny Hero Dystopia for Fusion Destiny. And the two other targets of Super Poly, the Starving Venom and the Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon, I think, is probably one of the best since there's a lot. If I'm playing against a deck that wants to summon Dragoon as soon as possible, then I just summon Starving Venom or the Mud Dragon and it's automatically win. Because they paid too much, they paid at least 2,000 since they summoned Anaconda. And then when Heroes did, that's easy damage. And once I'm play, playing against a tri brigade, if they ended up with full combo, and what I'm saying full combo is that they summoned the Epaluza for three, they summoned the Ancient Warrior, and they summon and they set the trap card. Then I can just use Super Poly with the Ancient Warrior and the Epaluza, because they are the same attribute but under different types. I can summon this, and then I only got to worry about the trap card. And that's really easy to bait if I have the lightning storms or sometimes they want to bait it out. They want to use it as soon as possible. It's so cool to see that you're utilizing Super Poly to the fullest extent. You have your generic targets as well as your other um, e-heroes. But uh, I do want to ask a question though. How come you're not using the, uh, you know, a Dusted Gold and Bane in this deck? Basically, Bane, I think my reason for not using Bane is that most of the time, Hero players want want to use Bane as the source. Oh, if you get Nibiru, then you gotta play this, right? And most of the time, what I do is I just think about if my opponent has Nip, I'm not gonna do the five summons. And there's a lot of times that I can do the OTK with only four summons. If I open up Fusion Destiny, for example, that's minus 1600 that my opponent is gonna have. If I send out the Dine Attack, Giant Attack has, has this other effect while in Graveyard, that it can banish itself and target one Destiny Hero monster that I control, and he punks the monster by 1,000 attack until the end of your opponent's turn. So basically, if I, let's say, for example, I just summon the Dystopia. Burn for 1,600, because I send out the Decider and this. Dying Attack will, is going to pump my uh, my monster. I'm going to attack, do some damage, and I've, I've ha if I have another Stratus or I have another Mask Change in hand, that's basically it. I don't need anything else. So I'm just playing, like, I know that Nibiru, like, is going to destroy this deck, so I just want to play around as much as of it as possible. Because right now, yeah, I'm play if I play Malicious Bane, then that's one space less that I have in the extra deck. Mostly they don't play super poly because of, because of that. They they don't have as many super poly targets. And right now against this meta, I think this are all the all the correct fusion that she should be playing. Like Mud Dragon is a great card to broken your opponent's board and then 
I prefer to play all this than instead of playing just one malicious thing. Isn't that's no way to get around in the room. If you're playing first, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get nipped, and then you're gonna summon malicious vein, which is basically a boss monster, but it doesn't do anything on your opponent's turn. So if your opponent has a way to out this by forbidden droplets, it has is playing tri brigade that is non targeting removal, then basically you're not gonna have nothing. Perfect explanation. There you have it, folks. He's uh, playing around Nibiru to the fullest extent. Uh, talking about Nibiru, this is my token, the Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah, so, this famous I, meme right there. The tri Brigade, I thought that I need the Epic Veilers. I need something to cancel out. If they go full combo, then I have the Lightning Storms. I have the Forbidden Droplets. Super Poly doesn't work as much sometimes because... Once they cut up, once they know that you're playing the Super Poly and the Mud Dragon, they don't like end, ending up with a Wind Monster on board. Because if they if they end up with the Ancient Warrior, then you summon Normal Summon Stratus and you use Super Poly, and they get they get they get a minus. So basically, when when I'm playing against those Tribegain monsters, they like to not have any wins. They just like to end up with the Link Three and the Trap Card and just pass. So I said, like, Epic Railer is a must. I had to have something to negate that. Against combo decks, I needed to play Nip. And then against combo decks, I'm playing also Droll and Lockbird. This is for Drytron, Dragon Link. And there's a really fun way. I know that there's a way that you can lock out of your opponent early. But I'm not using the Destiny Hero Draw Hunt. Draw Hunt. Don't like it for the moment, but there is a way that you can use Destiny Hero to draw hand and the standby fight, the stand, special summon itself, then make, make each player draw one card and then use troll. When I'm going second against spell and trap cards, then I have the double twin twisters, I have the one red reboot, and the one harpy feather structure. Plus the lightning storms that I play on the main deck, and this is kind of the spice for me. The night beams. This is a really, really, really great card. It only targets one, but basically when you activate this card, you're going to target one spell and trap card that your opponent has, and you're going to destroy it. And your opponent cannot activate that card in response to this card activation. So they can get around that, but they have to change something else. Yeah. So basically, if I'm playing against a tri brigade, then I'm just going to force it, out, force it out as much as possible. They have to do the the link effect to special summon something, and then the trap card to special summon the Shrek. And yes, he's gonna get the plus. He's gonna get all the monsters. But if he doesn't have any hand traps, if he doesn't have anything else, then I'm just probably I'm gonna OTK him that turn. Card that I the last two cards that I play are two solemn judgment. And I thought, well, if I want to go first against one specifically deck. I want to have something so I can protect my dark wall. Very informative. Thank you so much, Gio, for being on the channel here today. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Yes, and it's really cool seeing that there's an alternative to uh, not needing uh, Bane or Dusted Golds because those cards are pretty pricey right now, <laughs> like over 100 bucks. It's crazy. They are really pricey. I didn't. I used to play Heroes without this card, without Forbidden Droplets, and I wanted to try to make it to make it as much as budget as possible but honestly if you're going to play heroes i know the deck is expensive at it as it is but forbidden droplet gets you so much advantage and that's an important it, it like you want to break your opponent board right now i left i remember playing against Drytron. if i don't have if i don't open super poly i just open this and i can watch my opponent go full combo for the whole turn and i see them that they added up or fairy monsters to their hand. They ended up with Mascarina. They ended up with Beatrice, Link Aribo, and the Herald of Ultimates. And I just go into my turn, summon a uh, Stratus. They use the effect of Herald, and then I just use Forbidden Droplets. And they they cannot respond. They lose all the all the offensive. They only have one negation with Herald of Ultimates, and then that's when the this Kai comes into play. The Vision Hero Trinity. Because most of the time, Appaloosa is going to have like 1600 attack or something. Then you just summon this and poke for damage. Oh, man. So, yeah, you got to play this. 
Unfortunately, this is the most expensive card right now. But yeah, if you're going to play Hero, you got to play Forbidden Droplets. Oh yeah, uh, there's uh, also guys you can just sign up OTS and uh, try to like you know pull an ulti, man. Oh, it's crazy. Or you can trade in your Dusted Golden Bane and get some droplets. Or you can also use my TCG Player affiliate link down below in the description. Oh god, yes. Well, uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. If you're not a part of Bortle Nation, suffer Bortle. It's that free and easy. Bortle out.